area of quadrilaterals. So what is a quadrilateral? Well, a quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape, and we've already looked at squares and rectangles, and we're going to have a look at a few more. So first we're going to look at a parallelogram. So a parallelogram is just a tilted rectangle where that side is parallel to that side and that side is parallel to that side. And to find the area, we just need to know the base length and the perpendicular height of the parallelogram, which is just going to be, area is going to be the base times the height. So if the base was equal to 8 centimetres and the height was equal to 6 centimetres, our area would just be 8 times 6, which is 48 centimetres squared. It's important that that side is not the height. We need to know the height straight up from the base to the top of the parallelogram. Our next shape we're looking at, our next quadrilateral, is a rhombus, which looks something like this. Where the opposite sides are parallel, and every side is equal in length. But to find the area of a rhombus, we actually need to know the diagonal length. Let's say that one is 9 millimetres. Let's say this diagonal here is 6 millimetres. The area of the rhombus is going to equal half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Doesn't matter the order in which you multiply them. It's going to be a half times 9 times 6. Half times, well, 9 times 6 is 54. Then half of 54 is 27 millimetres squared for the area of that rhombus. Our third quadrilateral is a kite. Kite's going to look something like this, where these two sides are equal to each other, and these two sides are equal to each other. But just like the rhombus, we need to know the lengths of the diagonals. So let's say this one's 10 centimetres long, and this one is 5 centimetres long. The area of a kite is the same as an area of a rhombus. Equals a half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So we get a half times 10 times five. 10 times five is 50, and half of 50 is 25 centimeters squared. Our last quadrilateral is a trapezium. The trapezium might look like this, or it might look like this. The trapezium only has one pair of sides that are parallel to each other. To find the area of a trapezium, we need to know the distance between the parallel sides. And we need to know the length of the parallel sides. To work out the area of the trapezium, it's going to be 
half of the height, so the height over 2, times the two parallel sides added together. So in this case, the height is 4 in both of them, so we just find the area of 1, but they're the same. So it's 4 over 2 times the two parallel sides added together. So one of the parallel sides is 6 and the other one 7. We need to do our brackets first. We can do the 4 divided by 2, which is 2, times 6 plus 7 in the bracket is going to give us 13. And 2 times 13 is 26 metres squared. Thank you.